Do you read passage A and then go through the questions or read both prior? That's a great question. Yeah, I mean, I might do a quick scan to see if any of the questions relate to only one of the two. And if so, I might read that one first, knock out, knock out the passage specific question, and then go on to the other passage and read both. But typically, you'll find that there aren't really a whole lot of questions referring to only one of the two. I think in most dual passage pairings I see, the questions all relate to both of them specifically. So you wouldn't really be able to get very far with the questions reading only one of them. Some people like to take the approach of reading passage A and then scanning through all questions and knocking out the passage A side of what they're talking about. Then reading passage B, knocking out the passage B side of all the questions. With dual passages, they've appeared ever since the June 2007 LSAT, which was immediately prior to exam 52. So at this point, you've got nearly 40 exams worth of dual passages you could try out. One per reading comp section, so you have about 40 dual passage pairings to test things out on. And it's, I'm glad you asked this question, Iman, actually, because that's what I have on the agenda for tonight is yet another dual passage. So we could play with that. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.